welcome back to the channel. We are down at the sawmill today and we brought the uh, a couple, of, we're gonna have a couple of small oak logs. These are not very big, but what we're gonna do is take these and make some like four by four beams or maybe some four by five beams. And we're just gonna have those on hand for the cabin when we build the outside deck. Uh, we're just pre-positioning some material there that'll be handy. And uh, we're using the Frontier OS 35 sawmill. Uh, love this thing so far. We've got the, the extension piece is supposed to be coming. Um, I think there's a little bit of hold up on the extension, but we're, we're gonna get the extension of this thing and it's gonna be able to, we'll be able to cut 17, almost 17 foot long beams at that point in time. So right now, I think we can do about 12. So anyway, we're gonna get this thing cranked up. We hadn't run the sawmill in about uh, three weeks, three or four weeks, I guess now. Let's yeah. get the back stops down. Now these little logs that we're getting ready to cut, these are kind of, I really enjoy cutting these because they're so light and easy to work with. We get into those big giant logs like this thing will do. Those dudes are heavy, they're hard to work with. These smaller logs are gonna go quite a bit faster because I can do that with them really easy. All we're gonna do is take four sides. Let's get her warmed up. Come on, sweetheart, start for me. All right, I don't think that we've ever showed you this side of the sawmill running. And it's just a pretty standard uh, engine. It's just a 670cc uh, engine. Uh, this is your breaker for the electorate. Turn it to the own position, pull the choke out. It's been a while since we've cranked her up, so. It's cold. it's cold, so am I cold. 26 degrees, I know you guys up north think that's nothing, but for us, that's cold. Okay, so we had a problem starting it, and first thing I did is I went and checked my safety switch. Uh, that was fine, it was, it was disengaged. I went ahead and pushed it and then re, released it again. Uh, still wasn't getting fired, still wouldn't start. So I went to the front, opened the doors, and there's two safety switches on the on the doors. So if the doors are open, the, the sawmill will not start. Well, this thing has not run in almost a month, and those little, little wires that stick out, I guess they got stiff for just setting for so long. And uh, I went in and wiggled them and made them come loose again, closed the doors back, and now it starts, so. Get to it. Uh oh, still a little cold. We'll let it run for half choke for a little bit. Rusty.
you a neat little trim piece. The engine's really got smooth now that it got warm. I didn't do as well as I thought I would. It was a small log, but I'm just gonna make this into boards because it's uh, I can't get a four x four out of it. I've got a lot to learn on this sawmill and I've also got to reset my scale because I set my scale wrong. Uh, I did have a four, a four by four out of this. Somehow I've got my, sales, my scale set at five inches when, it should, when, the, when the scale's showing four inches. So when I set this up, it's not the sawmill's fault. It's when I put it together, I didn't set the scale correctly, which, you know, it's a rush. We put everything together and we thought we were doing it right, but I can see now this is a this was a five by five so I ended up having and it, right now it's showing that the the cutter was cutting at zero and obviously that we were cutting close to an inch and a half up yeah easily an inch and a half up this thing can cut to one inch to the deck if it's set up correctly and right now it's not but that's what we're out here doing we're learning and I still got all these one inch boards. This one's not too good, but the rest of them are, are pretty useful. And then we got an extra board down here that's uh, an inch and a half. All right, so we made a mistake. This, I, when I set the scale up, no big, no big deal. So the sawmill is doing really good, especially once the engine warmed up, it runs so smooth. I'm so amazed at the power of the sawmill. Um, we're gonna be using the sawmill a lot over the next uh, two or three months as we've we want to make board and batten for all of the cabin out exterior. There's going to be a lot of wood accent pieces on the inside. So you're going to be seeing the sawmill a lot. The next video you see us, I'm going to be coming out here. I'm going to take and set up the sawmill a scale again. I'll show you whatever I, whatever mistake I have made, I will share that with you. And maybe when you set yours up, you won't do that. It was, it's obviously an oversight on my part, but uh, it's no big deal. We'll get it done. God bless. Have a great day.